actually, it's a simple question that I that I received that I feel is uh, is so simple that it, it it's to the point, and it's what role does love play in the healing process? So when they finally got to the point where they had worked on changing a belief, changing some fear, changing some self-limitation, the side effect of that is true wholeness and true love, where you're satisfied in the moment, you're present in the moment, and that's kind of the state of receivership. That's where you feel thankful to be alive for no reason, and you're no longer relying on the things outside of you to bring you pleasure or bring you joy. Somehow it's coming from within you. Yes, love, but to be in love in the present moment remains just a wisp of desire or wishful thinking until we figure out how, what to do, a proactive approach to it. So is such an approach available? Yes, it is available, because we now know that we choose uh, in a consciousness that is ordinarily beyond us, but there is a pathway, road to that consciousness called creative process. But let's add a, a French touch. <laughs> <laughs> because some think that God speak in quantum physics and others think God speak in mathematics, but actually God speak in French, you know that. <laughs> Because from, uh, from, from, from Quebec, <laughs> from Quebec with, with a French Quebec accent. <laughs> because French is the language of love. <laughs> and when I start to do my practice uh, as a medical doctor at the beginning, I was when the client will walk in, for me it was like opening a book. You know, like you read a history. Because everyone will come with, of course, a journey of pain or and all kind of event. And then, so just to be sitting there and listening at that story was, was a moment of, you know, where you, ex because love is about exchange, it's about communion, it's about, and Dr. Dispenza was speaking about this oxytocin, but this more and more you, you dive in the experience of healing, more and more you bound, you bound with another individual, you bond with yourself and, and, and the whole universe. What we want is higher consciousness, and what we want to do is live in love and joy. Then we put our focus and our attention on that, and that becomes our point of attraction. And then we, once we have achieved that point of attraction, then we are vibrating at those higher frequencies. We can then begin to influence not only ourselves in living and loving and being in that space, but influencing those around us. But healings don't reside in fear, lack, limitation, the need for control, separation, illusion, darkness, illusion. Healings reside in love, prosperity, abundance, light, oneness, unity, and freedom, the freedom that allows us to let go of the control and to become the witness and the witnessed, the seer and the seen, the observer and the observed, to observe without judgment or direction. And when we truly step out of the way, and that's what stepping out of the way is, entering into that state of love, when we step out of the way, we find that our greatest gift is that we are so honored and privileged to be allowed to observe the perfect orchestration of, call it God, call it love, call it the intelligence of the universe. That was uh, beautiful. Thank you very much. Actually, I, I, I'd like to add also a little something because I'm, I'm not a, uh, a great healer or a doctor or a scientist, uh, but I'm an expert at this, and this is love. Um, this entire experience, and, and in fact, it relates a bit what I was talking about earlier, this, this ex exchange of energy between this, these speakers, and also that we are a group. In fact, all of you are sending us the energy right now and are building this conversation to greater heights and experience of love. So I wanted to thank you for that.